Are you ready to take a musical trip back in time? Tonight, we're going to party like it's 1999. That's what the song says. Remember? For the first time in 25 years, the band that helped Prince put Minneapolis on the musical map returned to the place where it all started. But did Prince show up for the big show? Maury Glover sat down with The Revolution before their sold-out show at First Avenue Sunday night. And we've got your front row seat to the emotional reunion. I just took like a once in a lifetime opportunity. They came from all over. California. Dallas, Texas. Indianapolis. Denver. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Washington, D.C. To the house that Prince built. We come out because we love Prince, we love the revolution. For a purple pilgrimage. The revolution is so special because of Bobby Z, Wendy, Lisa, Matt, Mark, and Bobby. Of course, I said Bobby already, but definitely Bobby Z. <laughs> just beautiful music that's timeless. Inside, the anticipation is is even more intense. Yeah, we drove. Drove six hours. Wow. Well, we did it in a little bit less, but <laughs> we don't have to tell anybody. Right, right. <laughs> For the mother of all reunions. First of all, let's get a correction. Let's get an understanding. I look like my dad. Was your daddy Prince? <laughs> Then when they find out they're not friends, they still happy and they still want to take pictures. I'm like, oh, well, you ain't friends. Well, let me get a picture anyway. You know, I, can, I can just help people be friends. All of them waiting to hear the band. And all of these people, all these crazy fools are coming from all over the world to see us. You know, I mean, it's like, anyone got a life? But that's fine. Come on, join ours. That started a revolution. You realize what the music meant to you. It's like the soundtrack of your life. Flip you up. Together for the first time in more than 25 years, all six members of the revolution sat down with us. That's how we check the mic. <laughs> For making Minnesota music history to take a trip down memory lane. You know, it's uh, pretty magical. Uh, it's Bobby Z. This is our home. Oh, very emotional. Brown I, Mark. I remember when I couldn't get in here. I wasn't old enough. And then a year later, I'm in the band. So yeah. We were just running through uh, Baby I'm a Star. Wendy. <sighs> I felt like it was like this, like we were filming again. Yeah, we thought we were doing a cult film, or Lisa. Or, you know, we didn't really know what was going to happen with it, and now here we are. You know, 20, 30 years later. I literally grew up in this place in, in a lot of ways. Des so, Dickerson. Yeah, surreal in the best possible way. The, the highlight of all of it is. And Dr. You know, Fink. Being back together with, with these people, they're, they're the greatest greatest people I've ever worked with. Are together in the building that made them global superstars. It was 1984 when a little movie called Purple Rain put Prince and his backup band, The Revolution, on the musical map. But the movie, filmed on location in Prince's hometown, spawned a string of smashes. Like when doves cry, I would die for you, and of course, the revolution, they're, they're my Beatles. Quest Love from the hip hop band The Roots and the band leader for Late Night with Jimmy right. Fallon says Prince and the Gang revolutionized music in the early 80s. The thing that they were masters at was the fact that uh, they came along at the time period in which sound was changing, where it was more of a computer electronic kind of atmosphere, um, but they still kept the hardest working band aesthetic. That James Brown aesthetic uh, intact, you know, and they, they were just the tightest band. Purple Rain spent an unheard of 24 weeks at number one and sold more than 16 million copies in the U.S. alone. And the hits kept on coming. But by the end of the tour to support the soundtrack for Prince's second movie, Under the Cherry Moon, his Purple Majesty decided to clear out his royal court and gave most of the band pink slips. And they basically uh, said goodbye, which uh, sounds like it was pretty heavy duty. Um, I'm glad I was asleep for it. It wasn't until Bobby Z had a heart attack 25 years later. I'd like to dedicate this song to my good brother, Bobby Z. We love you, brother. That these former bandmates decided it was time for a reunion. And unfortunately, you know, our godfather of the band had to have a major heart attack 
to get us to go, oh, we better hurry up and do this. We're all still able to do this without, you know, being in wheelchairs and gray and, you know, on drips. This Bobby, guy, you didn't right have here. to really go so far to get us together. Yeah, know, know, you could have just called. Now, nearly three decades after filming Purple Rain, it's the revolution's second coming at first half. Both the band and their fans have a few more years and a little less hair, but the music is just as powerful, even without their purple Pied Piper. It is disappointing that we're not, we don't have our, you know, our beacon here with us tonight. Our composer. Um, yeah, our composer. It's disappointing for us, but not debilitating. We're still here to do this, and we still play this music together. It matters that he's not here, but it's not stopping us. Even after all these years, the heart of the band is beating as strong as ever. And at least on this special night, the revolution isn't over just yet. It's important for us to be reminded that um, we were all powerful together. You know, everybody in their own parts, we all go out in the world and fill out our respective places in the world, but together this makes a very powerful unit. Maury Glover. I want to thank you all for helping save my life. Fox 9 News. I love you. Good night. Isn't that something? Sunday night show was a fundraiser for Bobby Z's MyPurpleHeart.org and the American Heart Association to educate people, particularly men, about keeping their heart healthy. And if you'd like more information, we've added links as well as our full interviews with the revolution and Questlove on MyFox 9. Com. I really love that. Trip back in time. Wasn't oh that great? my gosh, yes. Yeah, Went great. to high school with Bobby and Matt, and for some reason their hair gets darker and mine gets lighter. <laughs> Maybe it's the music. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Spending too much time on your phone or tablet? Well, it could become a real pain in the neck.